Okay, well, I'm Pete Hennig, and I'm the drummer for the Fantastic Merlins. I'm Brian Russler. I'm the bass player in Fantastic Merlin. I'm Nathan Hansen. I play the saxophone. And I'm Sarah Remke, one of the owners of the Black Duck Cafe, where we are. Ooh. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> the history department goes like this. We had, years and years ago, one of the first gigs Fantastic Merlins ever played was here. That's right. For a little while, we played here every week, or attempted to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sound in here is great, because it's got all that it nice is, wood. Yeah. And, and uh, it has really beautiful resonance, so people have enjoyed playing here. And it's, you know, we used to do little bits of it, and then in the past two years, we've just been doing more and more. Nathan and I uh, curate the Community Pool Deep End series here at the Black Dog, which happens uh, first and third Fridays of every month. Over time, this place has felt like a place where we can really incubate our ideas and develop creatively. Um, and feel like like the people who work here and own the place and run the place have our backs and believe in us as individuals and as artists and have, and, and, and have our back and support what we're doing. That it is an all ages kind of spot and that there's not a cover charge opens the doors wider for yes. more, more people to come in. And then once they get here, for me, it just feels like it has decreased the, uh, the barrier between me and the audience. There's that growing sort of personal connection. It's like this sort of developing family kind of idea. And there's a real sense of sort of community and sort of yeah, for sure. know, mutual, mutual support, I think. not about some kind of exclusive scene or some kind of clicky you know, environment. It's, it's, it's really about the art and about bringing something beautiful, putting it out there for free, yes. and in an all ages, friendly, warm environment where anyone can come and bring their open ears and, and, and uh, hopefully get something. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.